watch a lot of reality TV, I'll be honest with you guys. And I was actually on two reality shows, which is crazy, you know, just to think that out there there was some guy like flipping through the channels, being like, hey, I 69 her on a cruise ship. It's. <laughs> no, he's not here. Um, I'm always looking, <laughs> but. Uh... I miss out on so many great reality shows because the title throws me off. You know, like my friends all got really into that show, The Deadliest Catch, but I never watched it because I always just like assumed it was about AIDS, but. <laughs> it's about crabs. Um, don't tune in looking for that big AIDS hour. Uh, no, some people know nothing about that disease. It's really sad. Like my college roommate, Lisa, Oh my God. I remember we were freshmen. I was like, hey, Lise, like you should go get tested because you're a huge <laughs> um, You let your friends know, right? Not like I was awesome. I mean, I thought the freshman 15 was how many guys you were supposed to sleep with, but uh, <laughs> gained it. Um, but uh, I should have known that Lisa was a because the day she moved in, she showed me. She was one of those girls who could put her whole fist in her vagina, yeah. <laughs> I'm like, let me hang up my Dave Matthews poster first, please. <laughs> Get these ramen noodles brewing. Now, uh, I can't even believe I graduated from college. I feel like you know what you're gonna be good at when you're older, based on what you like when you're younger. Like when I, when I was younger, my best friend was Tony. This kid, Tony, and he loved rocks. He was always like playing with rocks, counting them, and now he's a crackhead, so. <laughs> it's amazing, isn't it? It's really amazing. But the best example is my older brother, because when we were kids, he loved cats. Everybody else likes dogs, right? No, loved cats. And he grew up to be this huge pussy. So <laughs> it's weird how it worked out that way, isn't it? Uh, I just, I lost some weight this year, thanks to Spanx. So um, yeah, our little secret. But there, there's so much pressure for women to be skinny, right? We turn on the TV and who do we see? We see like the girls from the hills, right? trying to form thoughts, that's how they burn their calories. Um, <laughs> little Heidi's head's gonna explode, or, uh, or we see Paris Hilton with the Chihuahua. What's its name? Nicole Richie? It's hard. <laughs> it's hard. And the way that these girls keep themselves skinny is awful, isn't it? By vomiting or using hard drugs, which I can't afford, so. <laughs> it's hard. Um, but, no, usually I feel pretty good about myself. Like, I know what I look like. Like, you'd bang me, but you wouldn't blog about it. I get it. <laughs> I'm fine with it. You won't be Twittering, like, you won't believe who I'm inside, but it's fine. <laughs> I'm okay. I'm fine. But, uh, it's hard, because I just um, went through a breakup, actually, and I'm not worried about meeting someone else or being lonely, I'm just like worried about all the pictures. <laughs> but, <laughs> but my mom always told me, you know, ever since I was a little girl, you know, never put your face in them, so. <laughs> that always splits the audience, I find out where the <laughs> are. There's one. Good job. Oh, God. But my mom's always saying really smart things like that. Like, you probably heard this one, uh, why buy the cow? when the milk has HPV. Yeah. <laughs> Wish I'd listen to that one, but uh, here we are. Uh, I want to be one less, but I'm not. <laughs> Thanks for nothing, Gardasil. Ding. <laughs> uh, do you know what HPV is? You will. It's this fun party disease, guys. People are like, who brought the HPV? I'm like, this girl. <laughs> Every couple months, one of my girlfriends will call me, crying her eyes out, without fail, crying. Aim, I just found out I have HPV. I feel like such a I'm like, what about you sleeping with the swim team in college? Like, that didn't ring the bell? Um, but now you know.